Monday, January 17th, I believe. We get Raul's first opinion of the cage. It's just a little bit twisted. Let the experts look here. So. Doesn't sound good though. No, just take a look at it and let me know what you're going to need because we they're going to pick this up, like I said, and when they pick it up, that's the time. So, But if you can do anything with it in there, but it would take us, we could take this side out. The other side is all the wet basura and we don't want to mess with that if we don't have to. So, so do you think it's repairable? Maybe you need to order some stock or something. I don't know. What do you think? I'm not really, not really worried about that so much. That's more cosmetic. The roof's okay. I actually thought of, I got a tow rope of taking this side, that side, bringing it about out to here, and I got a winch that I can come along and see if we can bend it back a little bit, if that's possible. I'll buy the two-piece storm back home. Okay, we had to empty the beast in order for it to work on it, so I might get over here and just start doing some sorting where they're doing the repair work. They're going to use a turnbuckle welded to the end of a rebar piece and try and winch it back into shape, but we got quite a pile now. We got our grade A brasura, our recyclables, and then this is all the yard waste from the two-pad cleanup, so what a mess, huh? And we're going to put another 5,000 pesos in our 35,000 peso cage and get it back to where the doors are working. I'm going to get that solar light repaired or buy another one. Maybe have a new tarpaulin for the landfill side made. Because Provincial was servicing it, so we'll see what happens. Get this baby back to looking good and working good. This is our way to save the island. We're going to set up a canopy right here with the sorting table, good size sorting table at waist level. And when people come down and it's not sorted, we'll dump it out and teach them how. It's the only way. Everybody's talking education, education, but I, as far as I can tell, I, there hasn't been little to none on education-wise. Soon there will be. Right here, right now in Mambahau. Away we go. The repair starts. I'll just look at it through the camera. I don't think it's going to hurt me that bad. I'm going to weld this rebar on the end of the turnbuckles. Tack it on each one and then crank it down with a screwdriver, I guess. We'll find out. We'll be back. Let's tack welding it on the bend there. Oops, didn't hold too well. I'm really going to have to weld that puppy solid there. And tack that guy there and start cranking both sides. Cage is going to be groaning here as they tighten down the turnbuckles. We might even have to cut them off and when they get all the way down, stuck far enough. Rolls over on this side. Let's see how well this thing comes back into condition here, huh?
and cowed. You'll be able to tell by this one because this one here's bent the worst. Good four inches down from closing. Mm, probably should go round up Mermel. He's hard to get hold of sometimes. I want to get this sorted before we put it back in. Perfect time for it. I'll be back. Now an hour into it here. I'm taking the time to sort through some of this as long as we're here. Splitting the bags open. I got That's how much was in the landfill side in all these bags so far. I got a little more to go. Raul's going to town over here. He has to do a second grab on it because the first turnbuckle didn't go quite far enough. So He's got a second one in. Then he's got to cut that one loose and keep inching it back and put some corner supports in weld in so it doesn't bounce back so so anyhow but we got power thanks to Jerry he lives right there can't wait to get this cage back in shape and we're gonna see if we can't clean it up a little bit straighten the tarp out get it close to what it was before the typhoon I'll be back We started at 8 a.m. on the 17th of Monday, January 2022. It's no longer the Leaning Tower of Basura. They're getting it straightened back out. We've got a ways to go yet. He's having to tack all the welds that broke loose. And then he's going to put some pieces on the outside to keep it from springing back. And I've been doing my best to clean up around here. I got two big sacks of recyclables out of the landfill side while I was here. But I just wish I could get my new hire woke up down there. He's not around. Bobby's not around. But thanks to Jerry's house right there, we were able to tie into the power so we can get this thing welded up. So, so it's going to cost about $100 to fix this, plus some paint. And I hope my viewers aren't too upset that we're using some of the money for this recycle cage instead of the kabooms but it's all a package deal this is where the kaboom trash goes so it doesn't line the streets so thanks for your donations I'm trying to make the most out of it here so I think we're getting a pretty good deal on the cage repair and he's gonna get the doors dialed in so they're perfect again and then I'm gonna clean up underneath it and stretch the tarp out and go to work begging to see if I can't get a cement slab put underneath this because it's proven it's going to work anyway so this is my chore for the day is I'm digging through everybody's old garbage but there's another reason I'm digging through it is I'm looking for IDs because the people are putting plastic in with the garbage they're not reading the signs yeah it's a nasty maggot job but I found two IDs already and I'm going to go pay them a visit in Lagunde village here and hand them a recycle flyer so that's the plan. Boy, they're rebuilding my dining suite by the canal. So well, we put over two hours work in the cage. And now I'm treating the boys to some breakfast here. Mike's coming. This is Raul. He's the master welder. Going to make the cage look like brand new as soon as we get his belly full of food. <laughs> and mine too. So anyhow. But it's starting to rain a little bit. Let's hope it stops. It's not too good to be welding in the rain. So. So far, so good. Maybe this will stop. We can hope. I'll be back. Well, it's probably 11, 11.30 now. And it's pouring down rain. So we're camping out inside the recycle cage here until the rain stops but it's not looking too good let's hope it goes away oh my window's down a little bit there i need to go get that closed up uh, i gotta go close my window in the car the back window's open i'll be back And we got our second brown out and some serious rain and flooding going on. We're trying to stay dry in here. 
It hasn't been the best day for repairing the cage, but we're almost done. And I still need to move all of this recyclables and trash back inside the cage. If it ever stops raining, that is. It's starting to flood now. I'm sure the kabooms are going to be full by the morning. And just like that, the rain stops. Man, it was really coming down. I'm going to wash my car off into the canal here. I'm sure it's got water in it from the typhoon damaged roof. I should put duct tape on it, but I know it will peel the paint off. And the rain has stopped. All we need now is some power back. No power though, huh? That's our second brownout for the day. Kind of hard to do any welding without some power. We'll be back. Rain finally stopped. I don't have any idea what time it is. Raul's got this baby all whipped into shape. We got the Nissan pickup truck filled to the max. We're gonna go over and take care of our dry throats right now, but she turned out pretty good. The door's closed you good. We had a couple brownouts and some serious rain, but we managed to get through it. So you guys want to ride in the back? I'll go over to the three J's again. We'll be back. It's the end of the day. Treating the workers right here. That's how you keep them happy, right? <laughs> yes. We feed them. We make sure they don't they don't go thirsty. So, but the cage is looking great. It's been a good day. Thank you very much, my subscribers, for helping us out here, getting the cage going. Raul turned out a lot better than I planned it to. It. So, man, it's been a rainy day today. Anyway. It's the end of the day on fixing the recycling cage. Raul was down here a good part of the day, morning, through the rain and brownouts. We emptied everything out, got it all straightened out and re-welded. I got some painting to do on some of the rebar that was added to reinforce it, put the garbage back in. I did a little extra segregating, but now she closes this like she did before with our trick little lock. Huh? And she's back to being beautiful again. We just need to get the two pad garbage out of here. Get a nice little canopy here and a full time attendant, and we'll be looking good. So, I managed to resegregate some of the trash when we had it out of the cage. I can see somebody's been in here and didn't close it properly yet, but this is all the big clear ones are all from the kabooms. And that's a lot of bottles and plastics that we're stopping from going in the ocean. So, and I couldn't have done this repair without your help. Cost about a hundred and bucks plus breakfast and a couple beers for the boys afterwards. But she's back to working, and we are getting it serviced by provincial now. So, hopefully, they'll take the recycle side up. They did the landfill side not that far ago. So. So it's been a good day. Be sure to like and subscribe. There's a section under the description if you want to help us with GoFundMe and Patreon. I really appreciate the Patreons because the monthly stuff is what keeps me going on paying employees here and making things happen. I know this isn't this isn't really anything to do with the kabooms, but being that's where all the trash from the kabooms goes, it's kind of a package deal. I got some new ideas for some new tarpaulins for the front, just the lower half. We'll keep the landfill and recycle going, but I got some new ideas. And I'm going to get the solar light fixed and back on top. And she's back in business. Thanks for watching.